Hi friends, we'll see what is a multi-stage PCY algorithm for the big data analytics and how this algorithm helps to identify the false negatives in an item set. Let's see what is a PCY algorithm first before moving on to the multi-stage algorithm. In the pass one of Park Chain U algorithm, we need to find out the M counters and we create a hash table. The linear scan of baskets has done. As we scan the baskets, we find out the items and we put them down. Now from a given item table transaction ID, we have found out this pairs and we scan these baskets and find out how many increment counters for each item in the basket is there. That is how many times the item set 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5, 3 comma 4, 3 comma 5, 4 comma 5. That is, these pairs are existing in the item set. As we move ahead, we see that 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. This is the number of times the counters of an increment is happening in the basket. So, what happens next? We increment the hash table counter for each pair in the basket. We mark them as a frequent item sets and we count with the support system. If they are less than my support, we remove them. And in the end, we summarize the hash table. Here, if you see the minimum support is given as 2 and after the minimum support is given as 2, we find out for each item set what is the support system and it is listed over here. As we see that minimum support given is 2, so all the support systems are considered. These are the transaction IDs and with each transaction, the available item sets that are happening in the each transaction. The buckets and the counts are found out for the past two. Now, this is a multi-stage PCY as PCY works only for two passes. Whereas the multi-stage, we have to go ahead and work with a three-pass algorithm also. In the frequent item sets, the bitmaps are formed and in the past two, as there are only two pairs formed and if there are more than two pair item sets or three item sets are formed, how do we do next? That is uh, the reason we go to a three pass PCY which is known as a multi-stage PCY where we have a bitmap 1 and bitmap 2 happening where it divides it into number of bits for each candidate pair. Problem is false positive from the hashings have to be considered and removed. Multiple rounds of hashing needs to be done. After pass 1, get list of the qualified players. Now what do we mean by qualified players is if the support is less than the given support, then the less support item sets have to be rejected and the ones which have similar support that is support is equal to 2 or more have to be qualified or accepted. In pass 2, hash only the qualified player. Rejected players, rejected items, rejected pairs have to be removed. Fewer pairs hash to buckets is less false positive. Which means that if there are less item pair in the bucket, then the output of false positive will be less. That is, the random numbers which we accept that, that they will give us a wrong reply or a wrong result are less. So buckets with count greater than s, it, they are existing in the bucket but no such pair has a count or a support greater than s that results to a false positive as we ignore or we reject that in pass 2. In pass 3, less likely to qualify for infrequent player, pairs and repetition it reduces the memory but requires more passes. And the failure in memory is O small f plus capital F which is the frequent pass which happens in the pass 2 and pass 3. Let's take an example. If my items are A, B, C, D and E and the transactions, number of transactions are 8 and support given to us is 3. This is the transaction ID and the item sets. For this item sets, we find out the support that is the candidate 1 and we find that A is present 5 times, B is present 5 times, C is present twice, D is 6 and E is present 
four times. Now, as our support is given as three, so C is equal to two, will be rejected, and we get a new list A, B, D, and E. And depending on these item sets, we form the pair. After we find the pair, we again find the support system from the transaction ID and the item set which are provided initially. So we get the support if you see AB has a support of 2, AE has a support of 2 and DE has a support of 2 as these three support systems have the less number than the support given to us which is 3. So these three will be rejected and the L2 which will be formed from the second candidature will be 4, 4 and 3. Now we go to find out the third candidate as it is a multi-stage so this leads us to the third pass of our algorithm. From the above given pair of L2 that is AD, BD and BE we find out the pairs as ABD, ABDE and BDE. From the given initial transaction ID table we find the support. As we see the support is 2, 1 and 2. As each support is less than the support given which is 3 so what needs to be done as buckets with count s is greater than s yet no pair of count greater than s so what does this mean this means that a b d e a b d or b d e tends to be false positive because they by themselves in pair having a support less have to be rejected but when we consider them on a individual item sets or a frequent sets then they are available in my algorithm in my item set and in my table with a proper support which leads to the success so this is how my multi-stage algorithm works to identify the false negative in the item table thank you